Good morning, boys and girls. Hope you guys are doing well. So we are gonna do a short demo. I don't think this is gonna be a very long video. Definitely gonna be one video. Uh, but I came across uh, a question the other day. I guess this could be a coffee and questions or and a demo at the same time. Uh, Tessa Mathis uh, asked about actually using our layout templates and how she might turn these into Christmas ornaments. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And we're gonna take you through the whole process of the way I would do it. Now, if you're a scroll saw person, uh, obviously you'd probably use a scroll saw. I'm not. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use this one. This has got a little bit more detail. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually make I'm gonna uh, make this template out of quarter inch birch. This is made out of eighth inch birch, but I'm actually gonna use a piece of quarter inch birch. I'm gonna use our layout template. This is out of our Christmas set. I'm gonna use our layout template. I think it's sitting pretty flat. So there's our layout. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it to the board. Now what I want to do is I'm going to make a, make a mark on the edge of the board uh, where I want my tape to sit. So I'm the same width here, the length doesn't really matter. So that's where I want my tape because I'm going to use my star bond and, um, and glue this thing down. So I know if I go that far I'm going to be okay. Get it a little bit higher here. That should work. And I'm going to put the same thing. There's my marks on my piece of. This is half inch MDF. I wish I had discovered this. Uh, this little trick as far as gluing stuff down a long time ago because we've uh, we've dad has been making patterns and stuff for years and years and this is such a cool way to do it so I'm just using the star bond medium and you could use the thin or you could use the thick but uh, the medium just happened to be the one I grabbed so I'm just gonna put some star bond in there <laughs> All right, I'm getting jiggy. With it. I'm getting jiggy. Gonna use my accelerator. And I am going to stick it down. Hold it in place for a few seconds. Put some weight on it. Strong. Yes, it does have an odor to it. That should be stuck. So, now what we are going to do, move this stuff out the way. Now, uh, let's see. So, I am going to actually cut this out. Where's my cheaters at? There they are. I'm going to actually cut this out with, uh, with a carving liner bit. I had actually cut one the other day practicing, and I did it with the profile bit. But, uh, and I'll show you that uh, here in another scene, but uh, what I decided to do is, uh, is actually cut this with the carving liner bit and take it in two passes, and I think it'll give me a sharper image. This is my carving liner. I've got it set at exactly an eighth of an inch.
away. There's my first cut. Now on these, you can do as much um, or as little detail as you want. I could have gone just all the way around the outside, and I'll show you why when we come to the to the final uh, the final part. Um, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to readjust my depth and set it at. Well, actually, I could do it by eye on the edge here, but I want to set it just at about a quarter of an inch. Ugh. One of the reasons I really like the the DeWalt router a little bit better than this one because I'm so much more used to the depth adjustment. All right, now let's recut those lines. See if that pops out of there. Boy, that that masking tape and starbone sure holds well. There it is. So now, uh, a couple things I wanted to talk about. First of all, I almost forgot this. You saw as I came around. You always want to do your internal cuts. Get those done. Get those out of the way so that when it when you break it loose on the outside, then you don't have to worry about going back and hitting those. Uh, second thing is you saw that there were little uh, dropouts when I was cutting these out. And you want to be always careful that those could chatter on you and go over and hit the bit. Um, in this particular case, it didn't because it was glued down really well. Um, third is I would never attempt this. Uh, again, this carving liner, I love this bit. It's so much better than the SC50. I wouldn't even attempt this with the SC50 in two cuts. I would have had to make at least three cuts, maybe four cuts. And this thing actually cuts uh, cuts narrower, skinnier line. So um, now what we're going to do is we're just going to sand this off. Uh, we're going to come back. Uh, we're going to sand it off off camera. Come back and show you what it looks like when it's all sanded. We'll be right back. All right, guys. So uh, I've sanded this thing off. And uh, I didn't have to sand it completely off because the next step is, um, fortunately, uh, Rachel loves to paint. Vicki and I, not so much. So I have uh, coerced my daughter into painting uh, this ornament. And uh, on the next scene, you'll see kind of what it looks like. So um, anyway, it's just as simple as that, guys. Again, if you got a scroll saw and you're and that's your thing, great. I'm a router guy, but this is a really cool way you could make uh, and you could customize them if you wanted to. If you want to put a name in there or whatever, it's uh, just a way that you could take the layout templates that you may already have if you got them from us or any layout templates and actually uh, turn them into blanks that you can do other things with. Now this is a quarter inch. You don't have to make a quarter inch. 
You could actually even make it three eighths uh, or half inch. The, the trick with that is the deeper that you go, if you're using a V groove bit like that one, even though it's really narrow, you can see that the holes are much bigger in the front than they are in the back. So the deeper that you go, the smaller these holes would be in the back. Anyway, that's just something that, that now you could use a straight bit, which I don't have, I don't really use a straight bit, uh, but that is as close as I get as far as using a straight bit. But anyway, come right back and we'll show you what the finished products look like. I think uh, Rachel's gonna do uh, the ornament and I think she's gonna do the little snowman too. Anyway, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. So um, that we're uh, gonna wrap this thing up. So as you saw, we uh, used the two, uh, two of the Christmas layout templates. And um, then you guys saw me cut this one out with the carving liner. And then Rachel did her little thing. She took, uh, I cut a couple other examples, and she took them and uh, did the painting on them. Just did a great job. So this really gives you an idea of you know, what you can do. And th these are Christmas ornaments, or can be Christmas ornaments, but you could do it with whatever you want. If you're crafty and like to paint, then this just gives you another option. If you don't have a scroll saw, but you already have your router, um, you, know, you can use this. I, I, and if you're not good with a scroll saw, like I'm not, you could use this method and uh, do the same kind of thing that a lot of the scrollers are doing. So uh, Rachel just did a great job on these. I think they're cute. So that is it, guys. Uh, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, as always, email me directly. Please don't message me through Facebook. There's a chance that I could miss it, and I definitely do not want to miss your comments and, and uh, especially your questions. So. Email me directly, eric at makeawoodsign.com. Um, we are going to, we will see you guys uh, Friday, I think is the next time. So we definitely will have, well, I will say, I'm really sure we're going to have a Friday Night Live coming up. Uh, and um, sorry about missing last week. It was just one of those deals where Ryan and I couldn't get away. We were kind of immersed in that uh, weekend that we were having at the Protectors Symposium, which was amazing. Um, anyway, guys, thanks so much. We appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love for you to subscribe and click that little bell icon because if you don't do that, you don't get notified when we do new videos four times a week. So um, we love you guys. Questions, send me uh, questions, and we'll see you on Friday. Questions, Have a send you questions? Yeah, if you have questions, <laughs> email me questions. Yeah, that would sound <laughs> kind of redundant, didn't it? Yeah. Anyway, um... We'll see you on Friday. Love you guys. Bye-bye.